Hi friends, welcome back to Come in the Chaos Homeschool. Um, so right now my background's a little bit different. I am visiting my in-laws, so I'm at their house, so I don't have everything perfect, but I did want to get a video out to you, kind of a, I guess it's July right now when I'm filming this. So a July update. Just what we've been up to and how homeschool's going, I guess, now in July. <laughs> Some of you know we do year-round homeschool and I am going to say that this year has been the hardest I would say overall year that we've had it's our third year of homeschooling and that probably makes sense a little bit of the honeymoon period ending not to say we didn't have rough times at the beginning but I think over time with homeschooling you do kind of wear down a little bit the kids wear down a little bit uh, it is a marathon, not a race, if you're planning on doing it long term. So I think a little bit of that is hitting us this year. And this summer has been definitely one of the harder ones as far as keeping some homeschooling going as we can. I did not plan as much to do this summer because I knew that from last year it was a little trickier to get the four weeks of four day weeks. But really when I'm saying four days, it's like a few things. It's like math, language arts, and reading, maybe another language arts. So it's like a half day in my opinion. And this year I just planned on three weeks of that. So 12 extra days, but it has really been a struggle. Math has been really hard for most of my kids. I will say at the, at this point, um, my daughter who doesn't struggle with math as much, she has actually struggled this year a little bit more with math. I won't say that that has been a big problem this summer, but my other three have really been struggling with their math. And I did mention in another video that I did, I've changed my oldest daughter's math to something different from what I said we were going to be doing in my curriculum picks. And I think my boys are also going to be changing at this point. They've been doing teaching textbooks for three years and I really think it's just too spiral for at least one of them. And the other one will want to change if one of my boys change. So I guess we'll be changing both of them. I think I know what we're going to be changing to at this point. It's not perfect. I don't, I feel like there's no math. Math is really hard. It's hard to find a perfect math program, but I think I have a change and I will let you know in future videos what we are moving to for my boys as well as my oldest daughter. So that is kind of homeschool. It's been eh, iffy. Um, I would say most of the kids have done pretty well. There's that one child who we're struggling with and continue to struggle with this summer as far as attitude and re re refusal to do things. Yeah, so still struggling with that this summer. It goes up and down. It just depends on what's happening. But I think math plays a little bit of a role in that it is reluctance to do the math that we're doing right now. So I have pretty much decided that we're done right now. We haven't finished the level, but we're pretty close to finishing math four at this point. And I'm going to get them started on this new program soon. And I think it'll work at least for a year. I hope it'll work for at least a year. I think with my kids, they just, math is a struggle and they don't love math. So at least with the program that I'm using, the lessons are a lot shorter and it's a little more mastery based. It's not spiral as far as every lesson is spiral. It's not like that. It's more of a mastery based learning. But like I said, I'll talk about that more later. Um, summer vacations have been good. We enjoyed our time up in Canada with my sister and brother-in-law and niece and they just built a house and it was beautiful and it was just a really great week with them. We had a good time traveling to Montana and visiting family there. So that has been really good. We had about two weeks in the middle middle there between our travels and we we're just at home. We did 4th of July with our little town, which is always fun and some summer school. So yeah, that's all been going really well. And then we traveled here to North Carolina to visit my husband's family and that's been lots of fun. We have some cousins here that are younger but they still have lots of fun with our kids so that's been fun. Lots of swimming and 
and just exploring. This is kind of a new area for my in-laws. They just moved here in November of last year. So we have not been to this area a whole lot. So we're just kind of exploring the parks and the different museums and things that are around here. So that has been really cool. Honestly, one of my biggest updates as far as how things have been going over here. A lot of you know, if you've been following me for a while, I have been on and off overwhelmed, on and off kind of had, I don't know, some regulation, I think some regulation issues and <clears throat> and um, I have had some testing done and turns out I do have an autoimmune disease that I'm dealing with right now. So I am, I'm not exactly, like I'm not exactly sure what it is. We have what we suspect it is, but really we're just kind of, I'm working with a naturopathic doctor and she's just having me try to reduce my stress is really the main thing. And it's kind of funny because I, I know I get stressed, but I didn't realize how stressed I really was like overall in general and so we're just trying to get my stress down and I am trying to be a little better with my diet. Um, I haven't talked a lot about that on my channel but I would say three years ago I was feeling symptoms of what I guess was probably my autoimmune disease but I didn't know I had it and didn't realize I had really anything specifically wrong with me. I was probably 30 pounds heavier than I am now and at that time i just figured a lot of my aches and pains and symptoms and things that i was struggling with were probably due to my weight so i did start doing keto pretty solidly i would say i would i'm not sure if it was 2020 or 2019 that i was doing that i think it might have been 2020 and i did pretty good for about six months and i did change a lot of what i ate and my behaviors around eating have always been a struggle but that did help a lot and I lost that I lost that weight and I've been able to keep I lost a little more weight than that but I've been able to keep it off with my new habits and so I guess I could say I've been eating keto-ish definitely not perfectly and I would say pretty imperfectly but I have been doing that for a few years now and then more recently I felt like I wanted to go even a little more heavy on the meat so a little more not carnivore but maybe ketovore so just heavy meat keto and so that's kind of something I think I through all the research that I've done is definitely not going to hurt with my audio autoimmune immune disease I can only I think in my opinion make it better so that's stuff I'm doing right now, um, still very imperfectly, but I'm trying to change some habits and replace some of the things I like with other things that are better for me. So yeah, I'm hoping that between learning how to manage my stress a little better and being able to eat better, I'll be able to avoid some of the more serious medications that can cause long-term other side effects. But I guess we'll see how things go. I'm very excited to be working with this naturopathic doctor. I just met her a little bit ago. I've actually heard really good things about her for many years from friends of friends, like people have talked about her and she happened to be accepting new patients. So I was very excited about that because if I can, I'd much rather go a more natural route than the serious medical surgery things like that so so really that is what is happening here health wise this is definitely the first time i've had a more major health thing i've never really had a lot of bad health in my life and i've been very grateful for that but i am approaching mid 40s and so it feels like it's pretty inevitable in general <laughs> to, um it seems like it's probably about my time to have those health issues. I know not everyone deals with health issues, but I know a lot of you do. So I think probably a lot of you can relate. But as far as back to homeschool goes, I'm definitely not where I would like to be as far as being prepared for my upcoming school year. I would like to start our school year mid-August, and I'm not sure if that gives me two or three weeks before we officially start again. 
and I have not done a lot of the stuff I really like to have done. I have not done a lot of the nitty gritty planning that I like to do for the upcoming school year. I've done some, but definitely not as much as I would like, which is why you haven't seen any videos of my planning videos this summer. I have not pre-read the books that I wanted to read. I wanted to read a lot of my girls' books before they started reading them. Readers, some of the textbooks that they're reading, I wanted to at least do a quick look over. So, I don't know, I'm running out of time. I'll say I need to prioritize what I can do. I will say I am feeling better um, than I was, I would say, a, a month or so ago. So that is promising. I do have a little more energy. I am trying to take the opportunities to sleep in, to take naps, to um, just keep my body calm. I am trying to not force myself to do the stuff that I Honestly, I love doing stuff for homeschooling. I love planning, but I have definitely felt in the last six months or so a decreasing, not a desire. I still want to do it, but I feel like I can't get to it or I'm just not, I don't have the motivation I used to have to do these things that I really enjoy. So I don't think that I'm like depressed or anything like that. I think it is just one of the symptoms of whatever <laughs> whatever I have that we're trying to figure out right now. I think that, yeah, just over time, stress has been a part of my life and it's just becoming too much for my body to handle right now. So working on decreasing that. And so I am not as, not as far as I would like in my homeschool planning for the upcoming school year. I mean, we know what we're doing. Um, it won't be hard to sit down and start the schedule or figure out what our slow entry into the school year will be. I will say though, at this point, it does seem hard to even imagine homeschooling like full on like I was. <sighs> yeah, so <clears throat> I think, I think I'll be okay. <laughs> I think I'm just in the middle of the summer and unable to imagine that life at this point. But yeah, I think once I get home from this vacation, when you see this, I'll be pretty much home um, once I get home, I guess we'll see if I can prioritize what I need to plan. And hopefully I'll just have that motivation once I get there to do what I feel like I need to do for the new school year. Sorry, I was interrupted by kids, but yeah. So I hope that once I get back in, I guess the next few days that I will have that motivation and the drive to do what I feel like I need to do in order to have a smooth school year. Definitely needing to think more about how homeschooling is a marathon, not a sprint, and trying to figure out ways that I can manage the burden on me and maybe the burden on my kids. Um, I think things are starting to, we're starting to wear a little bit. And so maybe we're just doing a little too much and I need to figure out what we need to cut back on. Um, yeah, so. That is what's happening over here. Um, how is your summer going? I'm hoping, I mean, we've had, we've had a good summer. I hope you haven't had news like I have had this summer. I hope you're having a good time with your family, enjoying hopefully good weather and that you're feeling ready and prepared for whenever you start your new school year. Um, let me know how things are going. If you need prayer for anything, do also comment below. I would love to pray for you. Like I said, I haven't really, I guess I probably have had this um, auto, autoimmune disease in the background. I'm really very fortunate that even though I probably have had it for a while, I have not had a lot of the symptoms of it and that makes me encouraged as well. I'm hoping that with diet and nutrition and things like that, I'll be able to keep it not too sim symptomatic and so, yeah, let me know if you need prayer for whatever you're dealing with. I know a lot of moms deal with health issues, um, even chronic pain issues while they're homeschooling their kids. And I can only imagine how difficult that is. And yeah, I'm sure you have built-in systems on how you can do that with your kids. And I, I just hope that I hope things are going well for you guys. And thanks so much for checking in today. And I will be having some more 
I'm hoping like flip throughs and planning videos and things coming up for you. I almost wondered if I was going to not do a video this week, but I had a nap <laughs> earlier and then my kids were in quiet time and I felt like I did have the time and the space to get on here and have a chat with you and I'm very happy that I did. So thanks for stopping by everyone and I hope to see you next week. Bye everybody.